Hey everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from the NBAA show in Orlando, Florida. First for me this year, I heard uh, one of the executives of a major charter company called King Air Kings. Never heard that before, it must be a New York thing. But the sentiment is exactly right because the King Air remains one of the most popular turboprops ever built. Carries a lot, goes fairly fast, and is inexpensive to operate. As a result, a number of companies are offering avionics upgrades for this airplane that include full glass cockpits. Behind me is uh, Garmin's offering is for the King Air 350, it's the G1000. This brief video will take a look at some of the other uh, glass suites that are available for the King Air. The G1000 retrofit installation for the King Air series is available on the C90, the 200, the B200, the 300, and the King Air 350. For orders placed by December 30th of this year, they also come with a new rebate program we're offering, which includes a five-year warranty, five years of free databases, and a $5,000 Epic Fuel card. Pricing starts at $325,000, which varies depending on King Air model, as well as the number of options that we offer with the G1000. A couple of the key features available with the G1000 installation is synthetic vision is available as an option which represents and displays a 3D depiction on the PFD and paints a picture of what it would look like during daytime if you were to look out the window and it was you were the, either an IMC or it was nighttime. Uh, Georeference charts are also available, both Jeppesen and Garmin flight charts. Uh, of course, georeferenced safe taxi. With the G1000, customers also receive zero-time avionics with a warranty, of course, so they get completely new uh, servos, a new autopilot, audio panel, an AHAR system, and much more. At Rockwell Collins, we have thousands of customers who fly in King Airs or are equipped with Rockwell Collins avionics. And what we've heard from that marketplace is that customers like a variety of choices. They like a menu of avionics options, ranging from simple, small, federated updates to comply with ADSB or bring WAS and LPV capability to the aircraft, through more comprehensive upgrades to the flight deck that add new software features and capabilities into their existing avionics, if it's a Proline 21 system, and all the way on the high end of the menu to a complete retrofit of a system like ProLine Fusion, which we also offer. And so we've responded to that market interest for a variety of options uh, by providing a menu. We'll show here, start with uh, what we call the ProLine 21 Airspace Modernization Package that bundles together ADS-B, WAS and LPV, and then some other enhancements to the flight deck like Synthetic Vision which is available on the ProLine 21 displays and comes conveniently packaged with those mandate updates. We have flight management system upgrades that expand the capabilities and the utility of the FMS by adding LPV approaches, radius to fix legs that allow efficient curved flight paths that are being implemented around the United States and in other areas in, uh, in instrument approaches today. And uh, also it expands the memory of the flight management system so database updates are simpler and, and don't, have to be, uh, don't have to be done as frequently if you're crossing many regions. Of course, all of this starts with ADSB and complying with the ADSB mandate. The deadline is January 1st, 2020 in the United States, but customers need to be planning to have ADSB upgrades accomplished really before the end of 2019. And December 31st, 2019 is the last day you can fly without it. So we start with ADSB and you can build up from there with a variety of options and then again all the way to a ProLine Fusion flight deck upgrade. And we've seen lots of interest in that as well. We're here to talk about our King Air upgrade for the uh, C90s. Actually, every King Air 90, except, with the exception of the F, um, what we found was that was an extremely underserved market. Uh, there's a certain segment of serial numbers that are supported by Garmin with the G1000. The rest of the market was not available, so we were partnered with Bendix King and we're offering a three-tube installation for the King Air C90. All 90s, I keep saying C90 because it's habit. Um, so everyone from an A90 all the way up can take advantage of the AeroView system. So the Innova system, what we've done, we've actually turned it into a kit that can be installed in very short time, less than 30 days, downtime on the aircraft. When the aircraft arrives, we remove all existing avionics from the nose, cockpit, and the autopilot system through the cabin to the tail and then it's reinstalled with a 
complete kit that installs in the nose. It consists of one MAU and an, and an AHARS air data unit. And then the cockpit has a shelf that slides in and is mounted to a primary structure. And then an instrument panel overlays that. And then the pedestal equipment is just installed into the pedestal. And then there's a harness that runs through the fuselage, picks up the aileron servos, and then goes through a new bulkhead in the, in the tail. And then there's a tail harness that picks up the trim servo and the other two servos in the tail. It's a very simple installation. Cost market right now is sub 300. We expect 270, 275 delivered with features.